Welcome back to How to BIM. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Dynamo to automate the creation of rooms in your Revit model from Excel sheets containing room parameters. This automation is especially helpful for projects with multiple offices, dorms or rooms, organized by department, number or name, and so on. It will save you a lot of time, so let's get started. The first thing to do is launching Revit and opening your model. In my case, I'm going to be quickly uh, modeling a floor for this tutorial. If you already have your model, I'm going to fast forward through this in editing so you could just pass to the next chapter. But first, make sure that you uh, set your project units. I'm using the metric system and I'm going to be choosing the meters. So this is our floor for this tutorial. It's a dorm apartment. Now the next step will be creating a list that has the name, the number, the department, and the minimum area required for each dorm. It should be an Excel file, but I'm going to create it in Google Docs so I could share the link with you guys if you're lazy to create your own or if you don't have your list. If you do, Fast to the next chapter, I'm going to fast forward through this later. And by the way, if you already have your plan in 2D in AutoCAD, you could actually use a Dynamo script to uh, create walls automatically in Revit and then assign the rooms automatically. You could check the video linked in the right top uh, of the screen to see how to automate walls creation. as soon as our assets for the tutorial are ready we're going to go back to revit go to manage and choose project parameters we're going to create a new parameter and we will name it a minimum area the minimum area required for each form the discipline will be common the data type will be area and then we're going to scroll down the uh, categories list and check the rooms box because we want this parameter to be assigned to rooms. And then press OK. Now we're going to go and create a new schedule for rooms. And then we're going to choose the uh, parameters we need. For starters, we have area. Next, we have our new parameter, which is minimum area, and then we have number. Once your schedule is created, you could press on fields, edit, and your properties, and then add whichever fields you want to add. For example, we could add the name or the room type, which is a parameter I have added in previous projects, and department. The room type works as the uh, room name, so it's not a biggie. Now we're going to go back to Revit and then launch Dynamo. Create a, a new script. Now we're going to go to our packages. Search for a new package. And we're going to type Clockwork Dynamo or Clockwork for Dynamo 2. Make sure you install your package because we're going to need it in this script. Now right click and type file path. This is the node which will help us to connect our uh, Excel file to uh, Revit. Next we're going to need import Excel. In this node, we have an input for file, input for sheet, read as string, and show Excel. We're going to create a node for each import. First node will be file from path, which we will link with the file path. And then link the output with the file input in data import Excel. Next, we have the sheet name, so we're going to have to uh, copy the sheet name from our sheet, paste it in this uh, string node, auto rooms tutorial in my case, and paste it here. 
and link the output with the sheet name. Make sure you set your um, run to manual so we don't get unnecessary uh, errors. Now we're going to need another node which is boolean and we will link it with a read as string because we want our data to be read as strings for this script and make sure you choose true. We're gonna copy the boolean and then link it with show Excel, which will uh, make the Excel automatically, the Excel sheet automatically launch when it's set to true. I'm gonna change it to uh, false, so I don't end up having my Excel sheet open at all time. The next node we're gonna need is list dot first item, which we will link with the uh, data import Excel output data. Next, we need a list rest of item. And we will also link it with the data import Excel. Now we can check in our list the data that we captured from our Excel file. If you're having issues with the uh, null values or the empty values, you can write me in the comments. I'll tell you which node moved that issue. The next node we're going to need is list get item, list get item at index. And then we're going to create a code block for the index, which will contain the columns of our Excel file. For this example, I have four columns. I'm going to link the first one with the index input, and then I'm going to run. I have no errors, so we're good to go. Next, I'm going to copy the same node and link the uh, second column with the index of the second node and so on. That way, each uh, node has captured the data from each column. Now I'm going to go back to my library, scroll down into my new packages and go to clockwork. Scroll down until you find the until you find Revit, then Revit elements, all the way until we find rooms. You could also get the node by right clicking and typing in placed by name and number room. When we check the input in our uh, new node, we can find name, numbers, and face. But the output of each list in our list dot get item at index is the content in each column. That way we need to set some order to our list. Click on the arrow next to list and then choose level two. And now we can review the output of the lists and that way each one of them, one has the names, one has the department, one has the minimum area. And one has the numbers of the dorms. We're going to link the name input with the first list. Next, we have the numbers. But we still have the area and the department. So we're going to start with the uh, minimum area. We're going to right click and type get string from number. Or string to number. And then we're going to link the item with string. The next node we're going to need is element.setParameter by name, and we are going to link the room output with the element. And we're going to create a code block for the parameter name input, which is going to be department, and then minimum area. That way, our Dynamo can acknowledge our uh, columns. Now we're going to link department with parameter name and we're going to link the output of the list that has the departments with the value. We're going to copy the same node and link the minimum area with the parameter name. Now when we go back to our uh, model or to Revit, let me just close it. And let's try to set our rooms, for example. We're going to click on rooms, and then we have the type of rooms. 
we have 301 single, 302 double, and so on, which is the list that we have imported into Revit. That way you could assign your room for each space and not worry about the parameter of your room. Let's just keep assigning them. Let's ignore the living room and the bathrooms for now. Now let's check our room schedule. Each area of each dorm room has been assigned and compared with the minimum area. You go back to Revit to the floor plan and select the room and then check the properties. We can find the room number, the room name, the department, English lit, the minimum area. If we think of this tool in a larger scale where you have a project with hundreds of rooms that have same parameters and you have your Excel sheet with the room data before modeling, this could save you an enormous amount of time. And yes, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it and I hope it was useful. Feel free to check my channel and the rest of my playlist to see videos or tutorials about Dynamo, Navisworks, Revit, and so on. And yes, like and subscribe if you like my content. Thank you for watching again.